ocean is a realm of unimaginable power. Its waves can tower like skyscrapers, and its depths remain an enigma. It is vast, untamed, and a true reminder of nature's power. You probably have seen those TikTok videos testing water phobia with crashing waves that make you feel like you're in the middle of the ocean. It's a terrifying sight for many, but imagine being on an actual vessel in seas like that. In the open ocean, waves as tall as 10-story buildings pound everything in their path. Yet there's one type of ship that defies these odds, and it's the US Navy's massive aircraft carriers. These floating giants not only dominate the ocean, but also carry staggering price tags. So, how does the US Navy ensure these colossal investments remain unsinkable? And what makes them so uniquely engineered to thrive where others fail? We'll uncover the secrets behind insane engineering of these massive carriers. We'll explore how their immense size and weight distribution create an unmatched stability. The unique shape of their hulls that slices through monstrous waves, and the advanced stabilization systems that adapt instantly to changing sea conditions. We'll also look at the nuclear engines that power through turbulent waters, and the highly trained crews who keep these ships safe in any storm. Stay tuned as we reveal how these advanced carriers withstand the ocean's wrath and earn their place as the ultimate rulers of the ocean. These US Navy carriers are some of the largest ships ever built, with modern ones like the USS Gerald R. Ford stretching over 1,100 feet in length. That's as long as three football fields. These vessels weigh nearly 100,000 tons, and they carry everything, from aircraft to entire support systems for over 5,000 crew members. Interestingly, when it comes to aircraft carriers, size does matter. You see, the massive size of these ships is actually one of their biggest assets when facing rough seas. Their massive size and scale isn't just about fitting aircraft and crew. It's a critical part of what makes these carriers so resilient in rough seas. To understand why, picture trying to push a tiny fishing boat versus trying to push a massive barge. We know that it's much harder to move the bigger and heavier vessel. In the same way, huge waves that could easily capsize smaller boats can't do the same to a carrier. The sheer bulk of the carrier gives it incredible inertia, making it generally harder for waves to lift or tilt it. However, the size alone doesn't create stability. The carriers are carefully designed to keep most of their weight low in the hull, with the heaviest components, like engines, fuel tanks, and ammunition storage, positioned deep below the waterline. This low center of gravity acts like an anchor and thus balancing the ship. And when the waves hit, this stability keeps the carrier from swaying or rolling uncontrollably, making it far more stable than smaller vessels. One real-world example of this stability can be seen with the USS Ronald Reagan, which faced a powerful typhoon in the Pacific Ocean in 2015. While smaller ships were rerouted or forced to turn back, the Reagan pushed on, using its low center of gravity and weight distribution to keep steady, with only minor course adjustments to avoid the strongest part of the storm. The carrier's design allowed it to withstand nature's fury and carrying on its mission safely. The shape of the carrier's hull has an important role. Unlike smaller ships, which often have sharper V-shaped hulls to cut through water, aircraft carriers are built with a unique, rounded shape that allows them to basically slice through waves rather than ride over them. This is known as a wave-piercing design, and it's a game-changer even when the surface water is frozen to ice. Imagine holding a butter knife horizontally and pushing it through. It's smooth, steady, and cuts through without much resistance. This is what a wave-piercing hull does when it meets large waves. Instead of being lifted and tossed around, the carrier's hull breaks up the wave's energy, allowing the vessel to maintain a steady course even in turbulent water. This design also helps reduce something called the wave impact. 
When waves hit a sharp surface head-on, they create a powerful force that can push a ship backward or make it tilt. But with the rounded, wave-piercing hull, the energy of the wave disperses along the sides, reducing that impact. This kind of hull design is especially useful in open ocean deployments, where storms can strike without warning. For example, the USS Nimitz, one of the Navy's most battle-hardened carriers, has sailed through countless storms and heavy seas since its launch in 1975. Its wave-piercing hull design allows it to stay balanced and continue operations, even when waves tower above the flight deck. This combination of shape and weight makes it resilient to extreme weather, letting the carrier push through conditions that would send other ships back to port. In addition to the size and hull shape, the aircraft carriers are also equipped with some of the most advanced stabilization systems in the world, designed to adjust the ship's balance in real time no matter how intense the waves get. One critical system is the ballast tank network. These tanks are huge compartments located throughout the carrier's hull that can be filled with water or empty to adjust the ship's weight distribution. Imagine you're in a canoe and someone pours water into one side. The canoe tilts. But if you pour water on the opposite side, it levels out. This is the same principle, but on a much larger, automated scale. The carrier's ballast system is controlled by complex computer software that constantly monitors the ship's tilt, or list. If waves start pushing the carrier to one side, the system adds or removes water from specific ballast tanks to counterbalance the tilt. This means that even if a wave crashes against one side, the ship stays steady instead of being tossed around. In severe storms, this system is constantly at work, adjusting within seconds to keep everything balanced. Another essential piece of technology is the stabilizing fins, which are located below the waterline. These fins work similarly to a plane's wings, helping the carrier slice through waves and stay level. The fins automatically shift position based on the movement of the water, providing extra support against rolling. On the USS Gerald R. Ford, these stabilizers are fine-tuned to react in milliseconds, reducing the impact of waves by adjusting the ship's balance without human intervention. Stabilization systems also mean a smoother ride for the thousands of sailors and air crew on board. Imagine a storm in the middle of the Atlantic, Without these systems, the crew would be thrown around and equipment could be damaged or dislodged. With stabilization, the crew can carry on with their duties, from preparing aircraft to navigating the ship, with much less interference from rough seas. A real-life example of these systems in action is the USS George H. W. Bush, which once sailed through a particularly severe Atlantic storm. Despite towering waves and intense winds, the carrier's stabilization systems kept it steady enough to continue operations with minimal interruption. Another secret to the stability and resilience of these mighty carriers lies in their engines. Not just any engines, but powerful nuclear reactors that deliver almost limitless energy. Unlike conventional ships that rely on fuel tanks and regular refueling stops, nuclear-powered carriers like the USS George H. W. Bush and the USS Nimitz can operate continuously for 20 to 25 years without needing to refuel. This isn't just about convenience. It's a huge strategic advantage, especially in rough seas. With a nuclear-powered engine, an aircraft carrier can generate an immense amount of thrust to keep moving forward, regardless of the waves crashing against it. This propulsion control gives the crew a critical edge in stabilizing the vessel. For example, if the carrier encounters a storm, the nuclear engine's power allows it to adjust speed and direction in real time, helping to counteract the force of incoming waves. These nuclear reactors work by heating water to produce steam, which then drives the ship's turbines, powering the propellers. The propellers can generate such powerful thrust that, even when facing strong currents and towering waves, 
the ship can continue at a steady pace without being thrown off course. This ability to maintain consistent forward momentum is vital for staying stable in extreme conditions. In fact, the propellers on a carrier are so large and powerful that they can create a level of thrust capable of withstanding the push of almost any wave. For context, consider what happened during Hurricane Florence in 2018. The USS Iwo Jima, though not a carrier, had to navigate through difficult seas to aid in relief efforts. Relying on its engine power and design, the ship maintained course and provided vital support in storm conditions that would have overwhelmed smaller or conventionally powered vessels. In similar scenarios, carriers benefit from this unlimited nuclear power by simply powering through the waves. Maintaining mission readiness, even in extreme weather. The power from a nuclear engine also means the carrier can adapt rapidly to changing weather conditions. Unlike ships that need to conserve fuel, nuclear-powered carriers can speed up, slow down, or make sharp turns without worrying about fuel reserves. This flexibility is especially valuable during sudden weather shifts, enabling the carrier to avoid the worst parts of storms or find a safer route. Imagine trying to escape a storm in a small boat. You're limited by the fuel you carry and the speed your engine can handle. For these carriers, nuclear power removes those limits, giving them control over their journey, even when nature throws its worst at them. So, the question was, can monster waves sink these giants? The answer is a resounding no. Thanks to their immense size, strategic weight distribution, advanced wave-piercing holes, powerful engines and the skilled hands of their crews, these carriers can survive some of the harshest conditions on Earth. Aircraft carriers are built to face whatever the ocean throws at them, from rogue waves to full-scale storms. They are a true reflection of insane engineering, representing a combination of human ingenuity and resilience. Thanks for watching. If you're as fascinated by these floating fortresses as we are, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, let us know if you would feel safe aboard an aircraft carrier during a storm.